Hey guys, welcome back to CodeCity.Space. All right, so in our last video, we saw the introduction of all the hosting plan available. And in this video, we're going to see how you can get the login access to your server, right? So as soon as you subscribe, let's say I have created a dummy user and I subscribe to a plan and this is my success screen. And this is the order details that I'm seeing once the purchase is done. All right, so once this is done, how do you access the server details? Once you subscribe to the hosting, just wait for an hour or two, you will receive an email stating that a note has been added and you will receive an email about an update on your order status. Once you receive that, what you need to do here is you need to come back here to codesity.space and click on my account. Don't go to zpanel server login. If you Even if you go to here, if you open this screen, this is your server login. You need username and password, right? So for that username and password, what you need to do is come back here and you need to go to my account. Open this my account option. And then here, what you need to do is go to orders. And this is the order. And if I open this order, this is the order. I haven't applied the coupon code, but you obviously you will apply the coupon code. So the final amount will be displayed over here. And yeah, this is the thing that I want to share order updates our team will verify the order which you have placed and if everything is good uh, and everything like your personal details like email and phone number if uh, we once we verify if it's right because students what they do is uh, uh, they just place fake orders so uh, by using fake email or fake phone number so it doesn't make any sense and we will be rejecting those orders so make sure that you enter your right email address working email address so that we can communicate uh, the order details with you correctly on, and on time. So anyways, once it is done, you will see something like this, that order update has been added, right? right? Tuesday 16th July, order update has been added. So ZPanel configuration has been completed and your username is your registered email address and your password is something like this, right? What you need to do, email address you already know. So what you need to do, you need to copy the password and now you can go to ZPanel server login. So since I have already opened this here, so here what I'll do, I'll enter the email address that I have signed signed up and then password that I have just now copied and then click on sign me up. So obviously this is a dummy user. So we don't have user here in ZPanel. So this won't work. But for you, you need to copy this username and password and then paste it here and click on login. So once you click on login, you will see screen something like this. Okay, you will see something like this, right? This is your dashboard. Now what you need to do here is either you can select the package here or you can select under manage services and you need to select the hosting option. So I guess you now know how you can access your username, username and password, right? You will all anyways, as soon as we configure codecity.space servers, uh, you will get a welcome email as well. In case, just in case, if you miss that welcome email or delete that, that welcome email, you don't need to worry. You simply need to log in back to codecity.space and check for order updates here and you will find your username and password for ZPanel as well, right? So this is it. And as soon as you log in to your server, this is, this. let's say this is the hosting package that has been assigned to you. Uh, then click on manage. And then... and then scroll down. This is the uh, server dashboard. It is very similar to cPanel, but it is not cPanel. It's our proprietor software. And anyways, once you scroll down here, um, yeah, the, here you'll find one click installs. And there are other operations that you can perform, security operations, domain operations, web tools, email account creations and management, web file management, file manager, backup restore, CDN management. Uh, all those things you can perform here, but right now this video is for uh, letting you know how to log in, how to get username password for your server and how to install WordPress. So under one click installs option, we have WordPress over here. So click on this WordPress option. Now. Select your domain, okay, while registering which domain you have selected, you need to enter that domain and then or else 
uh, if you have if you are using a student account then we would have already assigned you some domain dummy domain and you need to select that and if you want to uh, install wordpress under some subdirectory then enter slash and then add your directory name or else if you just want to use the temporary domain here then directly you can install wordpress like this click on install so i'll use uh, subdirectory and uh, let's say dummy instance and then click on install so what is happening here is uh, wordpress 6.5 is being downloaded on your file manager and uh, database is being installed some set of uh, configuration is being done now under this is your url and this is your temporary url if you don't have this particular if you don't own this particular domain then this won't work if you own it then obviously it will work anyways but if you don't own it i recommend you use this second option that is temporary url right so simply click on this temporary url temporary url is a url from where you don't need a domain name you already by default get a temporary url by us so even if you don't have any domain still you will be able to make your website live and share those uh, portfolio websites to other clients so now as soon as i clicked on that uh, temporary url i'll be taken to a screen something like this and here i'll be asked one or two questions rel related to wordpress so i'll select the language and site title username password these things can be changed later on uh, but just make sure that you enter your email correctly so that you will be made an admin for this particular uh, uh, wordpress uh, instance and site title can be anything we can change it later on username can be anything uh, let's say username can be admin password can be anything we can say all right now you can add your email address and then if you don't want your site to be indexed then you can click on discourage or else you can leave it blank and then i will just select discourage because i don't want public to see this instance and click on install wordpress perfect wordpress has been successfully installed right now how do you log in into the wordpress simply click on this wordpress login or else come back here and again once again you try to open this same link you will see you will you will be redirected to the wordpress website that you have recently installed and how do you log in into any wordpress website simply add wp hyphen admin that's it and slash that's it and then hit enter or else you can simply click on login here as well now enter your admin user and password that's it you will be redirected to the admin dashboard this is as simple as that right so in this video we saw how to subscribe or okay in last video itself we have seen how to subscribe to the hosting plan once we subscribe to the hosting plan how you can get the login username and password for your server credentials right and then once you get the username password we will verify as soon as we get the order we will verify our team will verify your details and once everything is looks genuine and in that point of time we'll be creating your configuring your servers and assigning you username and password as soon as we assign the username and password you don't have to worry you'll get an email notification as well once you get email notification you can log in back here or from the email itself you can copy the username password and come back here and click on zpanel server login once you go to zpanel server login add your username password and once you do that you'll be redirected to the dashboard this is the server dashboard that you'll be getting and you can just try around and see what are the options you have and what are the actions you can perform using your hosting package right what are the what is cdn option what is email option what is ftp option all those things you can go ahead and explore but in this video i have shown you how you can go ahead and install wordpress which is most important right so in order to uh, start practicing your projects in our next video i'll show you how you can because since this website is already live what you can do is you can claim your free elementor pro license from us on this particular website and that uh, detail regarding regarding those uh, how to get your elementor pro license i'll let you know in the next video right so thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section thank you have a great day